Hello, welcome to JavaScript tutorial, chapter 30, JavaScript event bubbling, brought to you by Anchor Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn about event bubbling in JavaScript. So, event bubbling process starts with the element that triggered the event and then bubbles up to the containing elements in the hierarchy. So what do you mean by this? What is event bubbling? So let me show you uh, a demo of this. It's very simple. So let me make you understand this sentence very clearly. Event bubbling process, it starts with the element that triggered the event and then bubbles up to the containing elements in the hierarchy. So to understand this, I have a beautiful example. So here you can observe very clearly, I have a due element and within this due element, I have another due element and this due element is also having another due element in that. So uh, this due with ID due 3 is a child of this due with ID due 2 and this div with ID due 2 is a child of this div ID due 1. So they are nested inside one another. Now what I'll do is now my objective is now let me push this page to the browser first and let me see how it renders there. This is the page. So let me open with some browser like let me go with Firefox. So here it comes. So you can observe very clearly. Now when I click on div3, it's going to bring a alert message telling like, um, okay, when, when I click on this div3, the border color has to change to orange and it has to bring a message telling like div3 border changed. So how do I do that? And let me see once I do that, what it's gonna happen. Okay, it's very simple. So uh, let me write a script here. So what, what should I do right now is, um, I need to tell like where, div elements is equal to document dot get element by tag name so what is the tag name we are having that is div okay what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the elements okay which are having the tag name as div Okay, now what I'll do is I'll use for loop to iterate. Like once I click on do one, do two, and do three, it automatically has to uh, add a border to that and just bring a pop up message telling like it clicked the do two, do two, and do three elements. So here I'm going to tell like where where i is equal to zero, and then I'm going to tell like i greater than two elements and take its length okay then increment it okay and here I'm going to tell like okay um, take that due elements take that due elements and iterate each of them on click so on click to each of them you apply okay uh, I need to attach a function what this function has to do is okay this function it has to apply a style that is the style is it has to apply a border exactly okay border of color orange so it's having a default style of border 5 pixel solid crimson now I'm just changing the color of it okay and apart from that it has to bring a pop-up message okay uh, telling like this in the sense respective div when it is clicked on the respective div get an attribute get an attribute with the ID okay with the ID so the ID what it has to tell us border color changed okay this is what it should happen when I click on the respective div now let me go here and uh, let me refresh the page okay now when I click on this okay div 3 border change due to due 3 okay now something has happened let me go back and let me check out in my code what is the thing we are missing there so it is telling like oh I'm just telling the border but it is a border color sorry for that okay control s let me go back and let me refresh it again now when I click on div 3 you can observe the div 3 okay I just clicked on the div 3 element 
okay but i've not clicked on due two and due one now observe very carefully what's going to happen i've got a message telling like div three border changed so now i have not clicked on the due two but still okay that event which triggered the child element div three is passing that event okay it's bubbling that event to its parent element also that is div two so the due to border color is also changing and again it's passing to its parent element that is due one okay this is what we call event bubbling the event is clicked on the child element and that event is bubbled up to the parent elements okay so ultimately all the borders okay of div 3 div 2 and div 1 now when i click on div 3 you can observe the border color changed i mean I'm, I'm, I'm not clicking on the div 2 but still we are getting pop-up message telling like the due to and due one borders have changed so this is called the event bubbling okay event bubbling process starts with the element that triggered the event so in our example we triggered the div3 element but that event is triggering or it's moving up to the parent element so this is called event bubbling okay and how to stop event bubbling it's very simple so if I wish to stop event bubbling uh, with internet 8 and earlier versions we have to use this event dot cancel bubble true or with internet explorer 9 and all other browsers we have to make use of event start event dot stop propagation so what I'll do here is in my piece of code uh, let me tell you like I'm going to just check event dot stop propagation method so when I do control s let me go back here and let me refresh now when I click on div 3 okay uh, what is the piece of code I need to do is should I keep it here or I should keep it here go back and let me refresh now when I click on div 3 element now its border has changed now you can observe the event is not bubbled up okay it's not going to the parent element div 2 now when I click on div 2 it the border color of due 2 only it's changing but it's not uh, bubbling the event to the due 1 okay this is how you we can work with or we can stop the event bubbling okay but but keep in mind I'm making use of this events dot event dot stop propagation okay this is working in Internet Explorer 9 and above versions so let me check that also so what I'll do is I'll just copy the URL of it okay and I'm going to open this in Internet Explorer browser so hello so when I refresh okay due 3 border color changed and due to border color changed and due 1 border color changed and this is working fine okay now let me check out the current version that is it's 11 this works fine but when I go to 7 and now when I okay now when I click on due 3 nothing is it's happening why because okay internet explorer 8 and earlier versions make use of this event dot cancel bubble is equal to true so what I'll do here is in my piece of code okay I'm going to tell like um, I'm going to just check first okay I'm just going to create event is equal to event let me scroll it up event or it can be window dot event okay so if event if event dot stop propagation then make use of that events dot stop propagation method in a sense if it is Internet Explorer version 9 and above make use of this method else we have to make use of the other method what is that event dot cancel bubble so we have to set it to true so when I do control s now I will go in my this version 
so this is gonna work very perfectly as we know it but our code should work well in Internet Explorer other versions also now I'll refresh now I click on here you can observe view 3 color border changed and even bubble is bubbling is not happening why because it's because of this code which is present here even dot cancel bubble true okay now as soon as I comment on this we go back and let me refresh this page and now when I click on this div 3 okay it's navigating to this one also as well as this okay now what I'll do here is I'll just uncomment this so you have to check the other thing also we are making use of the Internet Explorer version 7 so that's the reason that's the reason this piece of code is working very well so let me refresh now it works well and this one also and this well too okay I hope you understood this very well okay what is even bubbling and how do we stop it okay in the with the Internet Explorer 8 and earlier versions we have to make use of event dot cancel bubble is equal to true or if your Internet Explorer 9 and later versions and all other modern browsers suppose support event dot stop propagation that's the reason I have made use of this is the code what I have written you can observe very clearly okay here I'm checking like what event method I have to use stop propagation method or I have to call the cancel bubble true okay I hope you understood this very well, very well. And that's for the day. Thank you for listening. Have a great day. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Ankh Pro Training. You can also like our Facebook page, visiting this URL. You can also follow us on Twitter. Further reference ref our website. We are on LinkedIn too. Last but not the least, please don't forget to give the feedback. Thank you. Have a great day.